Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. On YouTube, there are some videos out there, like 10 household hacks, uh, that kind of a thing. It's um, um, small things that you can do around the house that make your jobs a little bit easier, but they go in quick succession to, to show you just a little snippet of how it actually works or how it actually worked for them. But what I want to see is, do they actually work in practical application? So. In this series of videos that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking down those little hacks and see if they actually work. Can you actually use what they say to make the job easier and will it work? So what we're going to do today is one of the hacks was can you take a stripped screw out of a piece of wood using a rubber band? Let's test it and see what happens. All right, so what we have here, we've got one, two, three, four, five different screws, all different styles. I got a drywall screw, I got a couple of sheet metal screws, uh, I got just a, um, an aluminum screw and just another steel screw here. This one here, I purposely uh, made it so you can't, I stripped the top, so you can't pull it out with a, um, with a screwdriver. So what we're going to try first is, Will the rubber band idea actually work on the other ones that are not stripped and see if that idea is actually feasible? What I did is I purchased a small uh, box of, well, there's, I think there's 75 rubber bands in here. And there's, they have, they're different colors, different sizes. But I also have one that's a little bit thicker. And I have one that was you know, the kind that you wear on your wrist. Uh, this one came from some sort of a tour I was on. So we have a different variety of, of um, rubber bands to test it with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try some of these different rubber bands and see if they work on some of the screws. So what I'm going to do, is, what they propose is, is by taking the rubber band itself and putting it over the top of the screw, you can force the screwdriver into it and it will give it a grip so you can pull it out. Now, this seems to be working on this particular one and that's okay all right so that's the smallest one that i've got so that actually worked that worked on just taking it out one that's not stripped on top this one is stripped so let's let's do this one last because i know that one's going to be our problem child so i'm going to try another rubber band and i'm going to try it on one of these sheet metal screws and it's a it's a shallower screw it, and we put the rubber band over the top and you put the screwdriver right into the head and see if it actually works see my I never tried this until we're doing it now so my initial thought was that the rubber band would take up so much room that the screwdriver wouldn't go in and function but it appears to be doing a pretty good job. That's not bad. Now the only reason I'm pulling out another rubber band is because uh, we're just trying different colors. It, they appear to be similar in size. So we're going to try the, the, the darker colored sheet metal screw and see if that works. Okay, that seems to be working pretty good too. All right, so that's good. Let's try this, uh, uh, let's go with the yellow one here, okay? We're gonna try it on this drywall screw. A Little bit longer, heavier driven in, different kind of material. So, let's give it a shot. And it appears to be working to pull it out. Now, again, none of these screws that I just pulled out were stripped. This one is stripped. Let's see what happens with that one. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this red one here. I'm going to put it on top where it's stripped. I'm going to shove it down in there. And you see. And look at that. Look at that. That appears to be working. You got to keep pressure on it though. Not bad. All right, the rubber band and the screw top that's stripped, that hack worked. That was pretty good. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll try another one next time and we'll see what happens with that. So, so far, we're doing okay. Thank you very much. And please subscribe if you would, please. And you be safe out there.